There are builds in evolution life that are truly ancient, yet still viable. For example, crocodiles have clung on to a high tier spot ever since they first appeared 80 million years ago. This is already one of the best examples of ancient builds still being top tier, but there's an insect build that could be said to be more successful in this regard, and it is even more broken than the crocodile. I'm talking of course, about the dragonfly. Dragonflies are truly ancient builds. They have been playable for around 300 million years, which is at the halfway point between the time of the first true complex life forms and the Anthropocene. And, judging by how viable they still are despite the rise of a certain broken Z tier I will not mention, it is reasonable to assume that they will likely continue to persist for at least a while. But what makes the dragonfly so viable? What are its weaknesses? And most importantly, Will the dragonfly prove to be viable enough to survive the balance patch that humans have brought with them? First of all, let's start with the dragonfly strengths. The most obvious upside to playing as a dragonfly is the insane mobility. Not only are dragonflies the fastest flying insect, they possess the highest maneuverability in the game. While there are other builds like the hummingbird that can pull off similar maneuvers, the dragonfly is still slightly more agile than most of them, given its smaller size. They can fly forward backward, sideways as well as up and down. They are also able to hover in place, which can be useful for dragonflies because it allows them to conserve energy without landing, which would leave them vulnerable to terrestrial builds. The key to the dragonfly's insane maneuverability is its four wings. When used in unison, both pairs of a dragonfly's wings allow them to accelerate, decelerate, stop or change direction incredibly quickly, so quick that even other flying insects can get chased down by these overpowered builds, which brings us to the other thing that makes dragonflies so viable, their hunting tactics and success rate. Dragonflies typically hunt by ambushing their prey, though as mentioned previously, they are capable of chasing down enemy players. To achieve this feat while prey like mosquitoes are surrounded by hundreds of other potential victims, dragonflies have an above average intelligence stat for an insect. They are able to filter out irrelevant visual information while hunting, allowing them to zero in on their victim without getting distracted by other players. They like ambushing prey from behind, and they move so fast that even other agile insects usually don't see these players coming until it's too late. Using their long legs, dragonflies can grab prey at quite a distance away, and their powerful mandibles destroy the victim in seconds, even while the dragonfly is still flying in mid-air. This is the most common strategy, but some dragonflies employ other hunting tactics. Some players choose to fly around the map and catch insects as they pass by them, similarly to foraging swallows. Others constantly switch between slow flight and perching to effectively spot stationary prey on vegetation. These players then swoop in and finish the job, or they flush their enemy out and catch them mid-air, which is quite an intelligent strategy too. These hunting tactics give dragonflies an unparalleled hunting success rate, a whopping 90 to 95% chance. Those are the main strengths of the dragonfly, but what about their weaknesses? Being insects, dragonflies are not the most remarkable in terms of life, damage or defense. They aren't particularly tanky or large. Their weapons are useless against anything outside of their weight class, plus their exoskeleton and wings can be easily destroyed by attacks from larger builds. Sure, relatively speaking, these wings are quite tough, just like how the evolution life community loves to say how strong spider silk is, but that doesn't matter when you get hit by a larger, more powerful build, and frankly, in these cases, players really only care about the results, wings that larger builds can break with the same effort they need to break a sheet of paper. However, this isn't too big of an issue for dragonflies because their high mobility allows them to easily dodge attacks providing they see them coming, which isn't too hard thanks to their good eyesight which is the best out of all insects. Not only that, dragonflies can see backwards, so it is incredibly hard to catch these players, meaning their sacrifice to life, damage and defense isn't too bad considering what they get from the trade-off, insane mobility, above average intelligence and incredible vision. Dragonflies are truly some of the most unstoppable solo insects in the game. Even their aquatic nymph form is viable and ferocious enough to hunt down mosquito larvae tadpoles and even small fish, and as we all know by now, fish usually are worth a huge amount of XP to small builds like insects and spiders. Also, side note, a dragonfly nymph actually possesses a semi-ranged attack. Their powerful mouthparts, called a labium, 
can rapidly extend to grab prey. This is quite powerful offensively, but not too useful defensively. And since dragonfly larvae have a lower mobility stat than their adult form, it is very much possible for dragonflies to end their playthrough as a nymph. However, this is still a billion times better than most invertebrate early games, so overall, not enough to make the dragonfly any less viable. In conclusion, these builds undoubtedly rank in S tier. They have insane mobility, above average intelligence and incredible vision, and they have remained top tier for around 300 million years. Even after their initial broken griffin fly build was banned, this group of players still persisted through 3 out of 5 of the greatest balance patches in the history of the game, but unfortunately, they may not survive the 6th one, the one humans have brought to the entire game. While most Dragonfly player bases are still doing completely fine, some are starting to shrink because of their need for water to finish the early game and to complete the reproduction quest. Environmental changes that affect the water of the given biome can be quite devastating to the native dragonflies. While none of them have reached a critical condition yet, if the newest balance patch and the rumored insect apocalypse get any worse, it is likely we may see these players get nerfed or even banned in the next few expansions of the game. For now though, we can only speculate on what the future holds for these currently still overpowered insects. Stay tuned for part 2 of this video, where I reveal an even more overpowered solo insect build. Comment down below what you would like to see on the channel next. Hit that like button with a mosquito and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with all your dragonfly friends on social media. Thanks for watching and just to let you know griffin flies were the largest flying insect build ever.